on Modern Living TV, we are going to talk to another woman we love. We are here in the Arton Model Unit in 8 Rockwell to speak with multi-awarded film producer Bianca Balbuena. Wow. Hi, Bianca! Same name! Hello, Bianca! I love your name! <laughs> okay, thank you very much for making time to speak with us. Congratulations because you just recently won the Outstanding um, Achievement in Film Award. That was... Hindi naman Lifetime Achievement. Hindi pa, malayo pa doon. But wow, the first Filipina yes. to do so and the youngest to ever do so. It was in the Asia Pacific Screen Awards. So, like, we are competing with a lot of countries from the Asia Pacific region, including Australia. Yeah, this is a... It was a very humbling experience. Humbling? Um, because? Because... You know, I always encounter people doubting me because I'm young and I'm a woman. And then to be on that stage, aside from humbling, it's also empower it's also empowerment for me. And a little push because the films I do are very exhausting because it's not the normal films that make money. I'm always like going against the flow and to have that little encouragement. So when that finally happened. I mean, I'm sure you were in the thick of either wrapping up a film or planning a new one. What was your feeling when you found out that the award was really going to be yours? Well, it was, it was life-changing in a way because like, I, we all live in a country and a world that's bleeding and almost crumbling. And this makes the role of cinema all the more important because it becomes our voice. It immerses us to worlds we refuse to see. At only 31 years of age and with 25 film credits to her name, Bianca Balbuena is definitely one of the most prolific filmmakers of this generation. I graduated in film in UP, that was I climbed the ladder. I was even assistant director to Gerald Tarog for, for a few years. And then, I don't know if you know Pepe Diokno, but he, he, he approached me and he said, um, can we do a film together? My budget is less than 20,000 USD, less than a million. So I said, okay, okay, let's do it. But you know, I, I, I'm only starting. I don't know what the roles are in filmmaking, but let's just do it together. Let's try to make it work. And then it got into Venice. And he's the youngest and the only Filipino to win the Lion of the Future Award. And that film was Encuentro, Pepe Diokno's first full-length feature. So I started, you know, learning producing with him and going to film labs, international film labs, international workshops and learning what producing is. Because it's so hard in our country, we don't know what producers do. Parang, it, it's, it's a foreign word for us. We only know... producer, So we only know line producers who are commissioned to run the project and we only know executive producers who give the money who's in between diba? who pitches the project it's always a lonely job for a director because he's doing it alone you need a producer to be with you it's a seven-year marriage so you develop the script with a director you raise financing you look for line producers you hire people until distribution and release so that's the whole Package. When you took up film, what is your original vision for yourself? Director or Layo. writer? No, so I, I've, I've always wanted to be a cinematographer. And um, I did cinematography for short films. I did internships with a lot of cinematographers. And then it's a very, I would say, chauvinistic department. Actually, it's hard. hard. Yes, so I really had a hard time and I needed money. So I did other jobs, assistant director, production manager, line producers. So yun, it, it was Which a worked course. to your advantage because yes, yes, in yes. the end, magiging producer ka. Yeah. So yes. easy to choose the easier job, kumbaga. Yeah. But yeah. what made you stay on as a producer? I've always wanted to become a storyteller. And people always tell me, oh, you love telling stories, you love looking for vision, but why don't you become a director? And I keep telling them there's already a lot of directors in the world. What we need now are producers who will tell the story with a director, who will push the director forward and help him and protect him and guide him, diba? Bianca's most pivotal break and also one of her most daunting undertakings was her collaboration with a great Filipino filmmaker, Lav Diaz. Lav asked me what I do, parang getting to know, and then sabi niya, I, I really like your passion. Can I give you my most ambitious script that I wrote like 12 years ago? Tapos sige. So I read it and it was a merge, a marriage of of literature, mythology, and, and, and history. 
they all meet in the forest. They're people. So parang ako, paano niya to nasulat? So I said, okay, give me three years. I'll try to raise financing for this. Because it's not easy. It's, I know it's gonna be long, it's black and white, and it's not gonna sell. So I tried to raise financing outside and in the country. Then Paul Soriano got on board. And yun, parang, it, it, he promised me three hours. It became eight hours. But when I saw it, I was like, it should be eight hours. And then I fought, fought for it para makapasok sa Berlinale. And, and it's the first time they accepted a very long film. First time a red carpet in main competition was at 9 a.m. What is your dream, I guess, for these films that they call alternative? Well, I think right now what we should work on in the Philippines is audience development. Game changer yung hele. Because it stayed in the cin it's eight hours but it stayed in the cinemas for, for weeks and people came to watch it because they were challenged. I was I think I think it, it's a start. And because my films don't sell in the country, I always, I'm still struggling and trying to find ways to sell them internationally. I'm progressing naman and selling it to territories, but you know, it, it's a journey eh. And now with so many young people hoping to be part of the ever-evolving local filmmaking scene, the critically acclaimed producer welcomes everyone to the fold with this advice. Maybe the reason why I'm here and why people are still making films is because they don't quit. So you can face the film giants armed with only stories, passion, and hard work. And you can still succeed as long as you don't quit. <laughs>